everything I ate at the new Raisin Canes in New York City. You guys, this was my first like influencer event and it was crazy. They were on every billboard in Times Square and the line like wrapped around the block to get in. But the best part was that they brought Kane 3, who's like their mascot and she is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with her. And they had this big ribbon cutting and a DJ inside and the store is so New York. It's so cute. And they have these Texas toast couches and this interactive fry wall where the fries like move as you walk past them. And now on to the real reason we're here. Everyone knows cane sauce is the best, but what you gotta do is pour their Louisiana hot sauce in the cane sauce. You mix it up and it's just like the perfect combination of spicy and creamy and peppery and tangy. It is so good. Okay, and then you gotta use the crispy butter toast to make a sandwich. So you add some sauce and then the chicken and then more sauce and then the fries and then more sauce and then slaw and then more sauce. And the chicken is so juicy and the slaw is crunchy and fresh and the toast is so soft and the fries are so crispy. It's like just a masterpiece. Especially with the added hot sauce. Like you really have to try it. Oh, I also got to meet so many other foodies. It was so much fun. Thanks, Canes. And that's all for today. Only eating pizza for a full day in Italy. So Naples is the birthplace of pizza. And this is a famous fried pizza spot. They like make a pizza, then cover it with another pizza and then fry it. And he kept poking holes in it till it puffed up and got so crispy. And it's filled with porchetta, which is this savory, fatty pork roast and provola, which is this soft, stretchy curd cheese that's kind of milky. And it goes so well with the rich deep fried dough. And y'all, they also had these fried strips of pizza dough that are covered in this thick, luscious, smooth, melted chocolate. And it was so crispy, but also so chewy, like just decadent. Anyway, then we lined up for arguably the most famous pizza in the world. It was in Eat, Pray, Love. And for over 150 years, they've been making this pizza using only the highest quality ingredients. Also, it was only $5. And the stretchiness of the dough is so satisfying. Also, the sauce was really sweet and it had this great char. And honestly, I just love how different pizza is all over the world, like New York versus Chicago versus Naples. It's so versatile, you know? And then we headed to the final spot which is like the second most famous pizza in Italy. And they've been around for almost a century. They have way more options and sauces and cheeses and stuff to choose from. And our waiter said that this pesto one was his favorite. They make all their pesto fresh and the flavors are insane. It's like so cheesy and nutty and garlicky. And it has this smoked cheese that was super creamy. We also tried this one with 18 month aged prosciutto and it was topped with olive oil that added an extra layer of richness. And the arugula is so light and fresh. And again, the dough is so stretchy. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at Burger King in Barcelona. They have Toblerone King fusions, which are basically like McFlurries and fast food in Europe has these extra sauces you can add. So I added caramel and chocolate syrup and it was so creamy. And this one had all these little Filipino balls, which are like crunchy white chocolate covered chocolate cookies. And I also added white chocolate syrup. So it was so sweet. And they also have these cheesy Dorito burgers, which have these like crunchy cheese filled Dorito shaped like cheese nuggets inside. And then the burger bun is toasted with cheese on top. Honestly, it's like so much cheese, like really rich. And speaking of cheese, they also have chili cheese bites, which were super crispy and filled with melty cheese and jalapenos that actually added some nice heat. And I tried it with the barbecue sauce that was a little too sweet for me personally. But just look at these wings. Why does like every fast food restaurant in Europe have wings? And why are they so good? They're actually so well seasoned and flavorful. And I think this was the honey mustard sauce. It wasn't my favorite. It was just like really strong, but I actually really liked the wings with the barbecue sauce because the sweetness didn't overpower them them as much. And that's all for today. Only eating street food for a full day in Italy. I kept walking by all these amazing bakeries. So I had to stop for a sfogliatella, which is this super flaky pastry stuffed with a sweet ricotta mixture. And they have this amazing crunch, but then the cheesy filling is so fluffy and soft. And I had to get a baba because it looked so good. He poured this rum syrup on top that was super strong and it just soaked into that sweet, soft cake. And it went so well with like the nutty, savory pistachio cream. And then I walked by this guy that was frying pizza dough, I think, and these cheesy rice balls that were so soft and creamy inside and then crispy and salty on the outside and also like piping hot. I definitely burned the roof of my mouth, but worse. And yeah, I think these were just fried pizza dough balls. Again, like super salty and savory and they have that amazing deep fried richness. And then I walked by the shop that I think won some kind of street food award and they're these kind of crackers that are shaped like donuts and they came in so many flavors. So this one was covered in sweet, sugary chocolate glaze that went really well with like the almost savory, crunchy bread. And this one had this super lemony glaze. It was really tangy and a little sour, but also pretty sweet. And then this basil one wasn't my favorite. It was just a little too strong and super hard. Maybe that's the texture it's supposed to be, but it was kind of difficult to eat. And finally, I saw this guy selling frittata di pasta, which is basically leftover pastas mixed with eggs and cheese. And then it's fried in a pan. And it was really rich, like really salty, a little too dry for me personally, but 
that's okay. And that's all for today. Everything I ate flying from Barcelona to America. It's our last day in Barcelona, so you know I had to get tapas. This Catalan-style cannelloni was literally boiling hot and covered in this thick bechamel that was so creamy. And the meat just like melts in your mouth. It's also so cheesy and so smooth. And it was so interesting to compare these patatas bravas to the ones we had in the city. Like the spicy sauce and the creamy aioli were still delicious. But the potatoes were like floppy and kind of oily. Not very crispy or fresh like the ones we had in the market. And they fed us this cute little lunch on the plane. I'm not even gonna lie. This curry hit the spot. It was actually really flavorful. The chicken didn't even taste microwaved. Like I was shocked. This little red pepper was way spicier than I thought though. But it kind of made the curry taste even more flavorful. Like I love the mouth burn. But this bread was hard as a rock. I feel like my teeth were in danger just biting into it. Not worth it. Um, They also gave us this caprese salad with mozzarella and tomatoes. Yum. But the dessert was the best part. They gave us these chocolate truffles that were covered in cocoa and had a little crunch, but they were also so smooth and bittersweet and dark chocolate is just so good. And this always happens to me. I see my neighbor watching a movie and then I want to watch the same movie, but then I forget to go to sleep. But this movie actually wasn't very good. So I kind of dozed off for a little bit. And then for breakfast, they gave us this warm turkey sandwich. And I had this like seasoning sauce that was like salty and herby, like oregano or rosemary or something. And that's all for today only eating at bakeries for a full day in Italy. For breakfast, we found this little bakery in the basement of like a castle wall. And I got this beautiful focaccia with pesto and mozzarella and these super juicy sweet tomatoes. But the pesto was the best part. It had so much flavor, like so salty and cheesy and garlicky. And then we ended up taking a boat to a different coastal town on the Italian Riviera. And there was so many different bakeries. They all had these like cannoli shaped pastries that I think are called cartocci, but it was super flaky instead of soft like a donut. And then it was filled with this thick sugary nut. I also got a sfogliatella that was filled with pistachio cream that was so like nutty and kind of savory. But then this one was filled with this bright tart lemon cream. That was my favorite. And the texture of this focaccia, it was so fluffy and light. But again, the pesto was the best part. And then it was on to another little coastal town where I found this beautiful lemon cake. And I heard that food tastes better in Italy because the soil is richer. So maybe that's true because I swear the lemon flavor, it was like the most lemony lemon I've ever tasted. It was so tangy and like smooth and sweet but not too sweet and anyway that's all for today everything i ate at burger king in italy the dessert game here is next level they have this chocolate salted caramel souffle it's like this soft warm kind of brownie like souffle with a gooey caramel center and ice cream on top it's so rich the ice cream could be a little creamier though and they also have this nocciolata spread with cheesecake so it's kind of like nutella but with less sugar so it's not as intensely sweet but it's just as smooth and chocolatey and the cheesecake was actually really smooth too I also got the American complete burger because I think it's so funny to see what other countries call American burgers. Like they just put the most on it. It had this thick, crispy hash brown and bacon and it was kind of fire. Like the tomatoes were really juicy. They also have loaded cheesy bacon fries and the fries might not be McDonald's level, but the cheddar sauce was even cheesier and there was so much bacon. And they also have this extra spicy salsa, which does have some heat, but it definitely kind of tastes like a mid salsa. I mean, it's from a package, so whatever. I also tried the curry mango sauce, which was way better than the curry sauce in McDonald's Singapore. I'm so sorry. Like it actually tasted like curry. And finally, I got this chicken wrap and the chicken here is so crispy. I feel like it was super crispy in France too. Like fast food chicken in Europe just has this amazing crunch. I don't know why, but that's all for today. Everything I ate at Taco Bell in Spain. Y'all, this was a two-story Taco Bell. It was so bougie and they had so much stuff I've never seen before, like chicken nachos, which are basically chip-shaped chicken nuggets. And they come with this warm, melty nacho cheese sauce. Kind of like a thinner, crispy McDonald's nugget with the cheese sauce that you get from the movies. And they also had so many cool desserts like this creamy bell chips ahoy, which is just ice cream with this hazelnut sauce that was so rich. And the chips ahoy crumbles kind of like pop in your mouth, like pop rocks, like fizzy. And then this is called the Taquito Lupita and it's the cinnamon sugar dulce de leche ice cream with a crispy tortilla that is so crunchy. It's like the perfect spoon and it's super sugary but really good. And they also have all these beef squares that you can mix and match. So I got one with guac and pico and it's not bad. I tried it with the barbecue sauce which was so sweet. Not really the right combo but it's actually so good with the nacho cheese from like the chip nugget things. And finally, I had to try a burrito bowl that was so fire. I've never had our power bowls, so I can't really compare the two, but the ingredients were so fresh and the sour cream cheese combo added this richness and that's all for today.
Everything I ate at Johnny Rockets on a cruise ship. So these huge royal ships have Johnny Rockets on them and I didn't know they served apple pie with cheese on it. I've never heard of this before in my life, but yeah, it's just warm apple pie with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream and cheese. And it wasn't bad. Like it got all melty and kind of added this salty, creamy richness. And the cheesy flavor went pretty well with the buttery crust. They also have this massive cheeseburger with bacon and crispy sourdough onion rings. And the patties are so juicy and meaty and the bacon is so crispy and the buns are really soft and the smoky barbecue ranch is so tangy. And I also got a chili dog and the bun had this perfect buttery crispy crunch and the hot dog was a little sweet and a little juicy and the cheesy chili is so rich. I feel like it would be perfect with some jalapenos. We also got some apps and I will always order a cookies and cream shake because I feel like they're good everywhere. Like they're hard to mess up. They're so thick and so creamy and vanilla-y and crunchy and sugary. And their loaded fries are good but the ranch is the star of the show. I heard they make it in-house. I'm not sure if that's true on a cruise ship but it's pretty perfect. And the sourdough onion rings have the most amazing crunch. The breading is super thick, but it does have this yummy sourdough flavor. And again, the ranch is just heavenly. And that's all for today. Only eating at bakeries for a full day in Spain. First off, we went to this famous bakery that's known for these huge ensaymadas, and I could not resist this tower of meringues. When I tell you, this might be my favorite thing I've eaten in Europe so far. Like, it had this perfect, crispy, crunchy outside that melts in your mouth, but inside it was so fluffy and soft, and it had these ribbons of chocolatey cocoa. Mallorca is also famous for these kind of Spanish pizzas. They're super thin and crispy and so buttery. This was also one of my favorite things of the whole trip. Like, the peppers were almost caramelized, so soft, so savory, and of course, I had to try their famous ensaimada, which is this super light, sweet pastry that's kind of flaky and like airy and it's made with lard actually. So it has a nice buttery flavor. And then everyone said we had to go to the Swedish bakery that smelled like a cinnamon roll heaven. They had so many different kinds of cinnamon rolls. This one was filled with pistachios and Nutella and you already know the middle is the best part. So chocolatey, so rich. And then this is the traditional Swedish cinnamon bun, which is made with cinnamon and cardamom, which gives it even more of that like warm aromatic spice and it's salted, which just enhances the flavors even more. And this final bakery is also kind of famous, very traditional, and they have these empanadas, which kind of remind me of like a meat pie, like from the UK, very crumbly pie crust, and the meat was super peppery and steaming hot and really tender too. And then the lady said this was her favorite thing in the whole bakery. So it's an ensaimada with this creamy vanilla-y custard on top, and it's so soft and sweet, and that's all for today.